audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Virgo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading, Virgo, between you and your person. But I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac signs, Virgo, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Virgo, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I promise you. If you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below because that's how I keep up with y'all is hearing y'all's aha moments that you have with the cards and how they resonate with you. And then if you do find some cards that resonate with you, uh, Virgo, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me. Um, and then finally, this reading's here, Virgo, just to give you some food for thought, some perspective for you to consider as you go throughout this week when you come to connect with this person, right? I'm not here to make a decision in your life. Ultimately, the final decision is yours to make. Uh, but let's start getting into this energy now for you, Virgo. The overall energy from Animal uh, Tarot is, or Oracle, card, they are Oracle cards, I guess, but that don't matter, uh, is the number six card, Beaver Spirit, lay a solid foundation. Um, and then we have the Gorilla card coming in. Take the time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially your family members. So this is definitely an energy of um, setting, laying it all out there, and, like putting your cards out on the table, Virgo letting it be known of being like it's like sitting up this person down virgo you're like sitting this person down and you're just like look i want this i want that i want this or make it i make you sound so selfish huh but it's like this is it's more so like this is where your head's at it's almost like a both of you got like you're putting things in perspective for this other person letting them know where you're at when it comes to this connection where your thoughts are when it comes to this connection in hopes that maybe perhaps that they mirror you and uh, uh, respond to you with also open and honest communication as well. Perhaps you're just in this place of where you no longer want to just play like this guessing game when it comes to this person, uh, Virgo, and you're just like, hey, like, I care about you, I love you. And it's just like, let's be on the same page, right? Let's make sure that we're on the same chapter. Let's remind each other that we're on the same exact team and that we both want the same thing out of this connection. So, right, like, let's just be open and honest with each other. Let's talk about what's, like, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's talk about what's bothering us. Let's talk about what we want out of life. Let's talk about the deepest things and then the most surface level things. Let's just talk right? Um, regardless, this is just definitely a week, Virgo, of where you just have to set the intention. But let's get into the tarot side of things. Virgo, I'm going to be pulling a card for you, I'm going to be pulling a card for them, and I'm going to be pulling a card for the energy between y'all two. Um, and then we'll pull clarifiers just to get into this story a little bit more. as I throw these cards about, <laughs> Virgo. Let's see, did we want this? Yeah, we want this. Two of Earth in the middle, I guess. Mm. All right, so Virgo, we have on your side of things, the King of Air, or this would be like the King of Swords in normal tarot. I'll read it out for you. This card says, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance your mental and emotional considerations. So. Virgo, this is just, again, like what I was saying before, like putting things in perspective, consider what it is that you want and then speaking it, right? You know, <laughs> putting your cards out on the table, speak your mind with confidence. This is definitely a weak Virgo. And I know for some of you non-confrontational Virgos, you don't want to talk about it, right? You want to be able to just be like, oh, it should just go without saying, or you want to be able to be like, oh, maybe, you know, I can deal with it, right? But here's the thing, Virgo, just because you can deal with something that's an inconvenience does not mean and you should have to deal with it, especially if it's an easy remedy or if it's an easy fix. Put it in perspective, Virgo. If it's just such an easy fix, like, it shouldn't be a problem if they care about your thoughts and feelings, right? If you want to open up to your family, if whoever this is about, Virgo, and be like, hey, this is what's bothering me. You're being like, hey, I really want to accomplish this with my life. 
And if they care about you and they love you, which I'm sure they do, logically you would think that they would be supportive of it, would they not, Virgo? On their side of things, they're the high priestess. This card says, listen to your intuition, have patience, and consider carefully what you want before acting. So this would be a person that's a little bit more guarded. So I can kind of understand now, Virgo, as to why you might have a little bit of, little bit of hesitation in terms of uh, communicating with this person. Because it, you kind of like don't know. But I feel like that's the reason why you need to have communication with them. Because like the high priest is, is kind of like that mysterious energy. It's that um, guarded, whether it's unintentional or intentional. Um, energy. It's that person where, I also want to point out, this is a card where it's like, have patience. So this is definitely someone that, um, uh, I don't want to say that they're already just inherently a necessarily patient person, Virgo, because I don't get that. I kind of get this in a sense of once, when they're in a balanced place, when they're, when everything's, when they're level-headed, the communication is good, but maybe when uh, emotions start going up or a confrontation happens, that's when they maybe start reacting in a little bit more of an immature way. But the thing I want to point out, though, Virgo, that I've learned with people is if they start reacting negatively when you have like confrontation with them and you're just like, oh, hey, can you just not do this? And they react strongly. That's a red flag in the sense of not them being a bad person, Virgo, but more so that they have some probably some past trauma. Maybe when they were a kid, like they're so used to being in, a, in an environment where if they did, they messed up once, um, their family would like yell at them, scream at them, and then they would just shut down, right? And that's what would happen in this. Maybe you feel like if you were to open up to them, talk to them about things, they were just going to shut down and shut you out, perhaps. Um... I honestly don't know what to even say about that. Maybe I'm, I don't know, right? I'm just a man reading some tarot cards. I'm not a therapist, but that is just something to just consider when it comes to this connection. So maybe hopefully it doesn't, it helps you not to internalize things as much. And then the energy between y'all is two of earth. So it is the chaotic energy. It is the need to make a decision. It is, um, an energy of taking things a little bit more lightheartedly as well. I'll read off the card and show it to you better as well. This card says too much going on at once, uh, the need to make a decision, and consider a more playful approach. Mm -mm. So Virgo, yeah, I feel like I don't need to really re say too much more about this. I feel like this kind of summarizes it in of itself. Um, definitely let's just get into some into some terror now with this king of air on your side we're going to start out with that first see what's up with that i also want to just point out the um lover's card keeps on uh, i keep noticing the lover's card popping out in different ways whether it's in the back of the deck or it's a card that's like up a little bit and you, i can tell the artworks uh the lovers that is something that keeps coming up and that is the lovers is the representation uh, Virgo of like a, an important decision. It also and kind of emphasizes to me that you do really care about this person. Um, so you are really wanting to communicate with them from a place of love and that would make more sense again as to why you want to really um, if you do communicate you want to make sure that it doesn't upset them. Right? It does get a sense of where you feel like you have to walk on eggshells around them. Which, that isn't a good energy either, right? I guess that's why you want to communicate with them. That's why these two cards came out, right? Um, you want to get out of that walking on eggshells with them. Back of the deck energy, six of swords coming in here. So yeah, you're in this place where it's just like you're not enjoying walking on these eggshells anymore. And it's just like, look, this is going to be one of those situations where it's just like, hey... This is where I'm at. You lay your cards out on the table. You're know, just like, this is who I am. This is what I want. Take it or leave it, right? No hard feelings if you don't, but I need to, you need some, you need closure in some type of way. You need to be able to like, not be stuck in this limbo. You need to know where you need to go in life, right? You need to know which path to take, two of pentacles. Um, the other clarifiers that we pulled for you, Virgo, is three of wands. So, hmm. Uh, how do I put this? Three of Wands, this lets me know you already have had some stuff going in your brain. Dare I say, Virgo, you already kind of have like either like a, it's like a backup plan or plan B. I don't know. I keep on seeing like, it just feels like you have something up your sleeve, but not in like a conniving way. It just feels almost like, like 
you're not going to deal with a roadblock, I guess. Like if you, if something like comes to a stop, then you already have a plan of how to go around it sort of thing. Um, and whatever is in your mind at this three of wands, where it's like, you kind of have an idea, um, of things. You have the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands coming forward. Now this is where, as the tarot reader, you see these aces that's the sign usually of just going forward with something, right? It's a kind of like for those that are looking for like a yes or no answer to something, this would be like a positive affirmation of being like go like the go ahead, right? This is like a green light when you see a bunch of aces, especially together like this. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Well, Ace of Pentacles talks about um, more so again where it's like you like I really do feel like you already have like these plans ace of wands comes in a forward movement so overall what I would say Virgo with this it's like without really getting into too much detail with it because I, I feel like that would just be a reading in of itself um, whatever you have going on in your brain like whatever your plans are spirit seems to like it spirit seems to try to give you like the green light and for you doing whatever you feel like you need to do when it comes to this relationship like you're not going to regret it i guess is what i'm trying to say on their side of things with their high priestess card virgo they have the nine of swords so anxious eight of swords oh honey <laughs> and then the eight of pentacles oh this, this person is really this person has a lot of problems right they're guarded they're they're guarded in a sense of where it's like um how do i put this you know like those an like an those animals you know like animal when like an animal feels trapped or cornered that's when they just react strongly right or like a chihuahua when a chihuahua feels threatened they just, just start shaking and acting like they're really vicious that's kind of like a chihuahua energy what i'm getting here but not in like an aggressive way but like kind of just like shut down and recluse as like a protective measure right so we go back to that example that i said before virgo of where i was just like you know where it's just like maybe if you try to talk to them they get triggered and shut down because of their past uh trauma when it comes to relationships and stuff like that um this is why like it does seem to be like it, it i'm gonna be honest it doesn't feel like they like themselves <laughs> very well it, it i don't think they are comfortable with themselves i don't feel like they're secure in themselves at all um and that's what keeps them blocked off right so it kind of feels like you would be like I'm getting like a vision of like somebody like pounding their head against a wall and it feels like that's you Virgo pounding your head trying to communicate with someone this brick wall it feels like for you. Eight of Pentacles comes in with the Nine of Wands where it's like they're not gonna break out of this mindset I don't think right with this and actually I'm like I'm appreciating it uh having a moment here where it's like this is eight and nine and then this is also eight and nine I don't think it has any kind of relevance at all uh, Virgo, but I just like numbers, so <laughs> I was just appreciating that. Um, I'm so weird. Uh, I don't see them getting out of the Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords until they kind of make this decision of the... Until they make the decision themselves of looking at themselves and then working on themselves with those issues. If they have those issues of, um you know, where they shut down because of past family members, they have to acknowledge that you're not your, you are not their family members. They have to acknowledge that they have to get over that trauma, right? They don't, they can't just be a victim and use that as their identity, right? If you want to have anything happen in this connection. Uh, let's look at the two of earth card now. Is the energy between y'all two? Yeah, Hierophant comes in. This is an energy of connecting to your higher self, right? Uh, Queen of Cups, Nine of Wands. This is a situation of where it's like, both of you, and I'm more so just addressing you right now, Virgo, because obviously this is the Virgo reading. You have to do what's best for you. Connect to your higher self and do what's best for you, Virgo. Now remember, with that ace, the, those double aces that we got, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, you're getting a green light. You're getting in some affirmation of being like, whatever it is that you've been thinking about, do 
right? Three of Wands for your energy. Two of Wands is the back of the deck energy. There, it, both the similarity of these cards where it's just like, this is the planning, right? This is the planning of like, kind of like looking to the future, being like, what do you want out of life? What do you want? What is your next step? What is your future? What do you want your future to look like? Where do you want to go for your future? And the Three of Wands is considering like trying to figure out how you go about it, right? So... But I feel like you already know how. You just need to take action on it, right? The judgment card comes in. You just need to finally go forward with this and not feel ashamed about it, not feel guilty about it. Um, and that's when the world changes for you. It's really interesting how this reading panned out for you, Virgo. Um, again, it sounds so ominous. Um, it's more so ominous from my point of view, uh, Virgo, just because I have no idea what it is that you're planning. I just see kind of like a mastermind over here that has something up already up their sleeve. And I'm just kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, like, um, but all I can really say about this person in this connection, you know, magician card coming out, you Virgo, you you have a good head on your shoulders. I appreciate the person like this because you just, you're not going to be stuck anymore. You're in this place of where you're ready for movement. You're ready to just keep things going. Um, you're not, you're, this is a very much so go-getter energy. You're ready for action. You're ready to create, whether it's with this person or not. Um, you're just not going to be stuck. You're not going to be held down anymore. You're not going to be put into a rut anymore, it feels. Um, you really, like, the world card keeps following you. You're really trying to just change your, change your life and the world around you. And you're just, you're not, you're not interested in inviting energies that slow that process down for you, which I don't blame you at all. <sighs> Good, uh, good reading overall, though, Virgo. Let me know what your plan is in the comments below if you feel like sharing with it. And let me know how this all pans out for you, Virgo. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my videos. But until next time, Virgo, I love you so much. Bye.